Hello friends, I hope you are doing well. Uh, here I come back with another video. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to fill this share a data using a pen pen coupler. Okay, before starting this, uh, most of time I found some commenters to make a video on some topic, but I couldn't do on that because I'm not getting some required components. So, uh, for example, I want to make a video on shift registers and also on the practical application like uh, contain container tracking, but I didn't find the com in uh, some component like the encoder card. So if I get some, so I will do a video on that. That's very important. So I will try to get, but on today's video, I'm going to show you some Practical application of a pen pen coupler, the starting from the hardware configuration and the software. So, as you see on the diagram, here there are two PLCs, they are connected by a pen pen coupler using Profinate. So, the diagram looks clear. So, let's do the, the program on Semantic Manager. Okay, let's create project. Okay, PLC2. PLC communication using a pin pin coupler. Okay. Let's insert to stiffness PLC one and PLC two. Okay, let's configure the hardware configuration of PLC1. Let's insert the rack and the CPU. My CPU is 317 to 2PNDP. This one, okay, let's create network. Network Internet one. Okay, the address. Let's make it ten. Ten. Okay. So let's insert our pin pin coupler. On under the gateway here we get the pin pin coupler so the latest version uh, versions are this one pin pin coupler version 4 or but mine was my pin pin coupler is this one so let's drag and drop on our network let's give a uh, here the device name or the host name is important also we have to configure this pin pin cup as uh, the uh, the device name on the pnp coupler pin uh, coupler coupler let's say 20 address make it this one 20 okay so we need we have to configure this host name the and the IP address on the pin pin coupler and also on okay what do I do I error okay so we are going to configure the as you know the pin pin coupler has two sides one is the x1 the interface x1 and the other side is x2 uh, interface so we are currently configuring the x1 for our plc1 okay so let's add some input output so this one address 256 this one we are going to send 20 bytes. The same 256. We are going to 
receive 20 okay also for this one for sending let's say uh, 364 bytes i am going to send 64 300 64 okay right save and compile okay i'm done for plc1 so let's do for plc2 insert the rack and insert the cpu again my second plc is also 217 2 pn okay let's create new Ethernet to the address is going to we use 10 for that one so we can we change here 20 and make this one 10 okay great okay so let's insert the coupler now on under the gateways again we use this one but the port when all the interface to or x2 we drag and drop this one or on our network and change the host name to pin pin cup coupler the address again 20 make it this one 20 don't confuse with the second one the, the second one is 10 20 and that is 20 20 so the subnet is different okay so let's insert input output again i am going to receive 20 bytes Empty. Sorry, sorry. So this one fifty six. Okay, and on the second, I'm going to resist send for sixty four bytes. So we are done for the hardware for both sides. So let's uh, insert our uh, function blockers. So before starting that, let me create two dbs. So to save time, I have, have I have created two dbs. So let's open them and see what's inside. On on my PLC one, uh, I created db hundred for sending and uh, db two hundred uh, one hundred one for receiving. So as you see, I have 20 bytes here, so I'm going to uh, send this parameter, this db 20 bytes to the second PLC, and uh, it's also parameterized. Okay, let's see the other one, this one. So the second uh, DB is for receiving, so it's 64 bytes, 64 bytes here as you see, so I'm going to receive that from the second PLC, and on the second PLC I created two DBs also, DB200 for sending and uh, DB201 for receiving, so DB200 is uh 264 bytes again also for sending to the second plc plc1 and also it's parameterized okay 
DB201 is for receiving. So it will receive a parameter from the PLC one. Okay, as you see, it's not parameterized and uh, its length is 20, 20 bytes. Great. So it looks like this one. So let's uh, click program on our Obi one. So uh, send data. Sorry, uh, right here. Network one for send data to PLC two. And I'm going to use system function uh, 50. And the address is 100. When we change to 56, starting address for the coupler input output, it is, it is 56. When we change this to the hex size 100, and we are going to send the data be 100 db starting from 00 520 word 2 okay for receiving receive data from plc 2 we use system function 40 system function 40 you, you can also use directly the input output addresses, but most of the time I use the sum function. So the address is uh, 300, when it changes 300 to the hexa, it is 1 to C. Okay. Put the error, uh, error ports on my memory word for and put and receive on my db 101 dbx starting from 00, zero by 64 okay done for programming for plc1 and this program for plc2 Okay. Again, I receive data from PLC one. So to receive, we use system function forty, and the address is one hundred. Mm -hmm. Memo word two, you can use this here also. Put on my DB one two hundred two hundred one. So DBX starting from zero bytes twenty. I'm going to receive twenty bytes. Okay, then network two send data to PLC one. We use system function 50 for sending. So the address is here 300. That's when, when we change this to hexa 1 to C and receive it at send the TB 200 starting from. Zero zero byte is sixty four. Put in on memory, put the error codes on memory word for okay. Done, I'm done for both PLCs. Okay, the one thing I have to mention is the addressing. So you have to address 
the pin pin coupler correctly as you see uh, the pin pin coupler has two interfaces one x1 that is connected to ps1 and uh, the second uh, interface that's x2 that's connected to the second PLC. So you have to address both interfaces as you configure on the hardware configuration. For example, I have uh, I'll give in a host name of the X1 PN PN uh, PN Core 20. So I have to give the host name correctly and the address also 192.168.10.20 and for the second interface that's x2 uh, we have to give the host name also correctly that's pn code 20 uh, it must be it must not be the same we have to add a little bit different from that first one and the address is 192.1 uh, 68.20 dot twenty ten then twenty. Okay, so you have to address correctly that one. So if you miss this one, uh, maybe the communication will not be successful. So thank you for watching me again. See you on my next video. Also, if you like it, please share and subscribe my videos. Thank you.